not be the Lord. He said the master of all the other, and his f***ing love. Hello guys, today I'm trying out the Boss Katana 100 Artist Amplifier. And uh, as you might have seen before, I've already tried two different Katana amplifiers. One being the Katana Mini, which is a lot of fun. Uh, I can just sit, you know, wherever I want. I can sit on a couch watching TV. I play through this little thing, I can bring it on tour, stuff like that. I also made one for the Boss Katana 50, which is a smaller combo amp like this. But uh, today I'm very pleased to try out the Boss Katana 100 Artist, which is brand new and it has a couple of extras that, that's not available on the Boss Katana 50 amplifier. And the Boss Katana 100 is a solid state amplifier, however the wattage is supposed to be equivalent of a tube or a valve amplifier. So. It's for 100 watt, it should be really loud. And uh, what I really like about it when you look at it, it's really narrow. I mean, it's not really that deep and uh, it's really easy. Let me let me try and lift it real quick with one arm. OK. Oh, it's not possible. <laughs> I cannot do it. But I mean, if you start like this, it's pretty. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Oh, that's my cough cup back there. Forgot about that. So yeah. Is that? Oh, it's a cable. For a 100 watt amplifier, it's very small, I must say. And it's a 12 inch speaker, the Wasa speaker. So, yeah, I'm excited to try it out. Let's see any guitar. <coughs> okay. No sound? Oh, it's one of those amplifiers you need to turn on. <laughs> okay. And for this demo, I'm using a Solar A 2.6 guitar. And this microphone is a Bayer Dynamic M160. Okay, let's try it. Brown. Okay, let's go through the uh, panel real quick. First you have the amp type and you have five different ones to choose from. You have brown, lead, crunch, clean and acoustic. And the acoustic preamp is when you use an acoustic guitar. Okay, and then you have the gain, uh, amplifier volume, bass, middle, treble. And here you have some effects. You have booster and modulation effects, delay, uh, reverb. And uh, a lot of these effects you can access if you plug in the Boss Katana 100 artist into your computer with a USB cable so you can arrange the effects the way you like them. And then we have the tone settings, presence, master volume and then power control which ranges from standby, which I guess is nothing, that's true, to 0 0.5 watt, 50 watt, 100 watt. So if you want to push a little bit more on the master volume, you can go down to 50 and just crack it up. Yeah. Just don't forget to turn down the volume when you switch up then. <laughs> then after that we have something called cabinet resonance. And uh, right now it's set to deep. Now it's set to vintage. Modern. Deep. Let's add some reverb to this. Nice. 
Nice. So I guess you change the mode of what type of delay you're using by clicking this little button here. But obviously you can also change when you hook up the Boss Katana into your computer. boost in there Okay, so that's the brown. Let's go try out the lead. sounding I love that okay let's try the crunch and this is not my forte but let's just do it anyway okay <laughs> Why, why is it every time there's a crunch sound that I have to demo and it's just like I have no f idea what to play I just I I guess I just do metal you know that's just my thing why am I supposed to try out the crunch part of an amplifier I'm not gonna use it I'm just using the brown you know to play metal and lead and clean okay crunch is like f crunch okay you should go check out Rabbi uh, Rabbi <laughs> Rabia Massad and his video because he knows what he's doing when he's demoing. So, okay, if you don't want Mel, go check out his video, okay? Good.
I'm there, you know, that's how you get inspired to write something new. Maybe that's a riff. Who knows? We'll just see in an upcoming song somewhere. Clean. <laughs> some effect mod leftover in there Ugh. I mean what I really like about the boss katana stuff is that you know it's just very simple to get going and I think that's definitely like the uh, the winning key for these amplifiers that you just you know you don't have to program it. You can still use the USB and hook it up to a computer and, uh, you know, program it just the way you would with any, you know, programmable amplifier or pedal board. But, I mean, you have everything available here and just, it just sounds awesome. That, you know, you just, okay, I'll go brown because that's just who I am right now. And uh, then I do this, a little do this, and it's a fucking good guy. And you know, it's fucking loud as motherfucker, you can't hear shit, you turn up the game, and you know, it's just like... And then, you turn it up even more, you take the massive volume, and it's fucking loud! And you can't hear shit. Kaliwa? <laughs> My poor son is out there, sick. I'm just cranking the amp. Is it okay? Pappa spelar ganska högt va? Ja, förlåt. So yeah, I mean, I, I just really like how simple it is and just, you know, you just crank it up and you play and it's just, you know, it just sounds awesome out of the box. Which is something I really appreciate because nowadays, you know, all these new pieces of gear, you need to take your time and really set your sound. Here's like, okay, you have, you know, you have one sound for metal. Okay, fine. That's awesome. I like that. There's lead, there's brown, there's not two million different amplifier types. It's like, okay, you have brown, you have lead, you have crunch, you have clean, and that's it. I really appreciate that with this amplifier. So yeah, if you like this demo, be sure to check out the boss. <coughs> what? <coughs> check out the boss katana 100 artist. And uh, yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to my channel, because it just uh, makes sense. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching, see you next time.